Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about Microsoft Office versus the Google Workspace. And we're gonna compare some pros and cons to both to help you make a decision which is better for you or your business. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to start off, we're gonna talk about what is the purpose of Microsoft Office and Google Workspace. So Microsoft Office and Google Workspace are suites of productivity tools, and they let you perform common business tasks in the cloud using a web browser or a desktop application. These are things such as sending emails, managing calendars, creating documents, spreadsheets, presentations, video conferencing, file management, and team collaboration. Microsoft Office also provides a comprehensive range of desktop applications. And the next thing that we're gonna cover is pricing. All right, so with Google Workspace, you have four available plans. You have Business Starter, Business Standard, Business Plus, or Enterprise. The Business Starter is $6 per month. Business Standard is $12 per month. Business Plus is $18 per month. The key difference between these accounts are the storage, user accounts, and security features. So with Google's starter plan, you have 30 gigabytes, and then the following plans have two terabytes, five terabytes, or unlimited storage. And now let's talk about Microsoft Office pricing. So we're gonna talk about the 365 pricing, as well as the Office one-time purchase pricing, which is my strong preference because I don't like monthly subscriptions but we'll cover both of them just to give you guys an even comparison. So Microsoft 365 Business Basic is $6 per month. 365 Apps for Business is $8.25 per user per month. The Business Standard is $12.50 per month and the Business Premium is $22 per month. Now all of the business plans provide one terabyte of cloud storage and the enterprise plans can give you five terabytes of storage. Now, as we said, there is a one-time purchase version of Office that you can just purchase once and you own the applications. You also get access to OneDrive, which is Microsoft's cloud service, and you only get five gigabytes with your purchase. But OneDrive is a service that can also be purchased separately as a monthly subscription for additional storage. So if you were to purchase Microsoft Office 2021 from Indigo Software right now, it comes in at $149.99. And if you divide that by $6, which is the same price as the 365 starter plan, in two years you will essentially have paid off your office purchase and will never have to purchase it again. So on my computer, I run the Office 2021 Home and Business on this Mac. I also have a copy for my PC. And I use OneDrive for file sharing and cloud computing. And I don't have to pay a monthly subscription at all. I actually use a separate service for storage, usually Dropbox or Google Drive but I like not having to pay monthly for these productivity applications. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about the different applications and pros and cons to each. So when it comes to email, you have Gmail from the Google Workspace or Outlook from Microsoft. Gmail is robust, fast, and very easy to find messages with thanks to its powerful search functionality. So the pros here are very user-friendly, easy to set up, easy to find your information. Uh, one of the cons of Gmail is that it doesn't really allow you to sort or group your mail something most users will often require from an email client. And Outlook is not only an email service, but it's a pretty in-depth program with a lot of features. So Outlook is gonna give you a lot more options when it comes to grouping and sorting mail. You can do things like schedule your mail, you can filter your mail, you have a calendar to-do list, and those are just to name a few. And of course, Outlook can be used in conjunction with email and vice versa. But when we compare and contrast the two, Outlook is superior in our opinion. Now, one of the main reasons that people might tend to go for Microsoft Office is that with most of the plans available, you get all of the desktop versions of Microsoft products and the cloud-based ones. So this means that you can install full versions of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and others all on your computer. But you can also use all of these programs in the cloud. You can run them from the web and OneDrive keeps everything saved together if you want to use it that way. And that's a huge pro to going with Microsoft over Google. Now, one of the pros of Google Workspace is that you can import and open Microsoft Office documents and you can save them in Microsoft format. So there's a little bit of like cross compatibility there. So if you're in a situation where you're using both of the services on a regular basis, it's pretty easy to do so. Now, a lot of the apps from Microsoft or from Google are broad equivalents. 
So we have Word, Google Docs, Excel, Google Sheets, PowerPoint, Google Slides, Outlook, Gmail, etc. So with all that laid out, this was a very broad and generalized comparison of the two. We're not going super in depth here, but the quick verdict in our opinion is that for many users, the main reason to choose Microsoft Office over Google Workspace will be the inclusion of its desktop applications. Most of its plans give you access to fully installable versions of industry standard Microsoft applications. And these are generally a bit more feature rich than the Google equivalents and make blended online and offline working a lot easier. The file storage quota and email quotas on the 365 entry level plans are more generous as well. The key reason that you might wanna choose Google Workspace over Microsoft 365 is because Workspace apps let you edit files created with both Workspace and 365. Though it has to be said that this is really only advisable when simple documents are concerned. But also the fact that everything is cloud-based in the Google Workspace means that users are nudged towards a more collaborative way of working. So my personal choice is the one-time purchase of Office. Uh, I do use Google Workspace as well for my business email, and I kind of use everything together in that way. I can work offline, I can work online. I use all of the Office applications, Excel, Word, and OneNote most notably. And I find that that works very well. They're all simple and loaded with features, but you just have to think about what works best for you. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.